Welcome back to the Navy Sports Magazine. Time to check in with men's basketball. Joined by senior Bryce Doolin. And you know, so far for you guys, you, you guys are at 13 wins on the season. Right there in the upper half of the Patriot League uh, season in terms of the standings. So far, what have you you felt like through 21 games uh, for this ball club? Uh, I mean, we're feeling all right. Obviously, you know, the last few games, we kind of had a rough stretch. Um, we, we know a lot of the games that we – I went through in the non-conference season, um, have already helped us and will continue to help us in the, the Patriot League season, so that's big for us. We've had a, a lot of different types of games, been in different situations, so that's good going forward. We just got to keep sticking to the plan and uh, keep staying together. What was it like last Wednesday at Lafayette to drain that shot and, and you know give your team a, a much-needed victory on the road, certainly within the conference? Yeah, I mean, obviously we feel it shouldn't have even got to that point. Uh, you know, we, we played all right. We, our defense wasn't great that game, so we allowed them to score a lot of points. Um, so it was a high, pretty high-scoring game. But, uh, I mean, it felt great. You know, that's the first time in my career I've done that um, here. So it, it was fun. Uh, it, it's just fun playing the game. It's fun, you know, being able to everyone, you know, kind of dreams of hitting a, a shot like that and, it, you know, everyone seeing it. So um, it was definitely cool. But at the same time, you know, it's 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 one game in the, in the middle of a, a big, you know, a big season. And it's, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. you got a whole season left. A lot of games still left to play, so uh, able to get. I'm glad we was able to get that win, but you know, just got to keep moving forward. Tell me now, during the play, as you're watching Hassan, now the great thing is Hassan gets the ball and he's in a straight line. He's allowed to come up the court really unimpeded. Mm -hmm. Did you think he was taking that ball to the rack, or did you think you were going to get the flip pass coming off the screen there? Yeah, honestly, I honestly wasn't sure. Uh, I had the opportunity to back cut, if so, and I kind of started walking my man in, and uh, he he wasn't really biting. You know, he was he was kind of playing back a little bit, so. Uh, I, I came off and it's either up to Haas to pitch it to me or keep it and you know he was able to get it to me my man kind of backed up so he, he saw the opportunity to pitch it um, and I was just able to hit the shot so for you throughout your career here I mean you know you've, you've been a guy that early in your career had some injuries that sidelined you a little bit how tough was that to fight through to, to get to where you are now where you're obviously uh, <clears throat> someone that's looked toward uh, on an everyday basis to help lead this team yeah uh, it's, I've definitely come a long way and I'm very very thankful very blessed uh, obviously, freshman year, you know, big knee injury, knee surgery, and, you know, I was afraid I was going to miss the whole season. The doctors thought maybe, and um, once they did the surgery, you know, the way my bone broke, it was able to, you know, I was able to, you know, I was only out for like three and a half months. I was able to make the first game still. Um, and then, obviously, just different things since then. It's just it, it's just like, like anything. You just got to persevere. Um, there's going to be ups and downs, trials that you go through in life in general. Um, and you just got to keep moving forward. And, and now as a senior looking back, um, a lot of those times helped me. A lot of those times have, have made me appreciate being in the game, being able to play. Um, the times I had to sit at the bench and, and watch other people play, cheer on my teammates, has given me appreciation now for the people who are sitting on the bench to, to watch me play. And it's, it's not my responsibility to go out there and, and play all my hardest for them because there's, you know, there's, there's kids around the world, there's kids um, you know, here in Maryland who don't have the opportunity to play. So you know, I just have to take it as the blessing that it is. You think of some of the people that we've played during your time here, and we, we've been to some – pretty good places both you know non-league and then obviously you see the same <laughs> conference teams every year you ever have a chance to to just sit back and go wow I'm playing division one basketball and I'm starting on a division one basketball team and, and playing on tv and people get to see me play you ever get a chance to just sit back and kind of relish that experience a little bit yeah definitely that's something I definitely try to do a lot uh, sometimes you know in the, the course of the season the course of obviously being here got a lot of responsibilities you know school and the military obligation uh, side of things so you got a lot going on, a lot on your plate, but you know I try to thank God every day for the blessings He's given me. And before every game, I'm thanking Him because that's that's the reason I'm here. Um, and, and it's that, like I said, it's, it's a blessing to play. It's a blessing to, you know, live out the dream of playing a Division One sport. Like you said, starting on a, a team, and and I, and I'm trying to enjoy every moment. You know, sometimes you can get caught up in, and you know, people watching you on TV or or you know who's going to be seeing the game, who's who's at the game. Um, but honestly, at the end of the day, you just got to take it as the blessing it is. And and I, I've been very uh, grateful for, for the blessing. Out of a lot of the, the good out-of-conference opponents we've played, what's, what's been the one out-of-conference place maybe that we've gone uh, that maybe you were looking forward to the most or enjoyed uh, the, the most playing at? The one I was looking forward to the most was, was last year uh, at MSG. Yeah. Uh, not, obviously, we were there ready to play, and you know, got snowed out, so we weren't able to play. Um, but that was a big place, obviously. You know, this year, we've, we've got to play at a lot of places. Probably Florida Gulf Coast this year was the best place. I enjoyed playing. It was a great campus down there. Great, you know, we played well in that tournament. Went two and one. Um, you know, felt like we should have beat FGCU. You know, played well in the first half and then kind of slumped, kind of slumped the second half. But that was just a great atmosphere. Um, a team that you know 
you you know watched a couple years ago making that big run in the tournament. Yeah. So different things like that. It's it's always fun. For those of us that weren't there, what was the reaction in the building when Tom Lacey went down and brought down the house? Down there oh, against that, that was you, wild. That was, I mean, they yeah. were probably like, "Hey, man, that's what we're supposed to do yeah. down here." Yeah, that's Dunk City, you know. So, <laughs> hey, I was, you know, that was that was crazy. That was fun, especially from my perspective, you know, on the court. Like, you know, the video is a different, different angle. But you know, when you, know, you see your teammate rise up like that and and put one down, it's it's always fun. What do you hope to accomplish here in a few months? You know, what are you looking forward to post graduation? Uh, I'm just excited. To, you know, I don't want to say I'll start in real life because. You know, I think I've been doing real life here at the academy. You know, you, you, you get so many unique life experiences that a lot of people, um, your friends back home don't have. And they don't have that type of, you know, that, that perspective that you have with some things, being able to do some of the things I've done. Um, so I don't want to say I'm starting real life, but um, obviously going to, you know, Pensacola, Florida soon and, mm -hmm. and starting my um, track to, to being a Navy pilot. Uh, that's just exciting. It's something that um, you, you have to be excited for. It's something that, you know. You're going to be, you know, leading people down the road. I'm going to be leading um, people underneath me and, and in charge of people's lives. And um, so I'm just trying to enjoy the time while I'm here, but also soak everything up and, and realize that um, there's things I'm going to have to do that, and I'm going to have to start making hard decisions in life, and, and I'm just trying to prepare for it. If we go into a club on a Saturday night and there's a drum set in the back of the club, <laughs> could Bryce Doolin sit down and play drums with just about anybody at that point? I'm not going to say anybody, but... I would like to get on a set. I would like to. I, I enjoy playing the drums. My dad uh, had a set when he, you know, he played since he was like three. Uh, my grandpa's a pastor, so he was always in the church playing drums. So every time I go back home, I like to get on my grandpa's, uh, my grandpa's drum set and you know play play a couple beats. But all right, let's have a little fun here. Uh, if you have the opportunity for one food, what's it going to be? And King Hall excluded food. here. Yeah, I probably wouldn't pick something. From King Hall, <laughs> anyway. Um. I don't know. I'd probably say fried chicken. Any kind of chicken. I like chicken tenders, fried chicken, like thighs. It, it don't really matter. Favorite chicken place? Favorite chicken place. Mm. I don't know. I'd probably just say back home. My mom was cooking. You gotta go Nothing there. better than home yeah. cooked. Yeah, mom was cooking. Um, if you could have one person for a meal to sit down with, who would it be? I'd probably pick Lecrae. Uh, he's a hip-hop artist, Christian mm -hmm. rapper, some you know, some would say. Um, I think it's a guy I really looked up to, a guy who I think is – um, in this time, this era that we're in, you know, he's, he's, he's really, he's, some people say he's kind of mainstream and he's kind of, you know, he's very involved in hip hop and, um, great guy, but, you know, just a great leader for our nation. I think a great, a young guy, you know, young, young, uh, low thirties, um, who's really doing a lot of things to inspire change, a lot of things to inspire young people to, to live right and just to, to do the best they can. And he's really giving people hope. And I think that's just, I just like to bounce questions off him and just talk to someone like that. 20 minutes in a gym with one person to shoot around with, who is it? I got to say Michael Jordan. That's the greatest player to ever play. So that that would just be – I would just enjoy that like crazy. I was going to say, being a wing player like Michael Jordan, yeah. no surprise. Yep. If not the Naval Academy, where? I'm honestly not sure. Uh, you know, I'm from Missouri. I might have picked Mizzou, um, but I didn't have an offer from them coming out of high school. So I would have just – I probably would have um, played somewhere, hopefully, uh, another Division One team, but – I um, only had a few other offers, so honestly, I, I don't really know on that one. Finally, as you're coming to the close of this journey, knowing where you were at the beginning and knowing where you're about to be now, hopefully headed to Pensacola and, and mm -hmm. learn how to be a pilot, you know, how has Bryce Doolin changed during that time? I think I've just become more mature. I've had a lot of unique life experiences, like I said earlier, uh, that people haven't necessarily had in life. I've gotten to go places. I've gotten to see different things, meet people, um, you know, sit in in a crowd and listen to certain people talk. And I've just, I've gained a whole new perspective on life. I've gained from from, from high school to now. Uh, you know, when you're a senior in high school, you know, you kind of think the world revolves around you and there's a lot of things that you've maybe already been experienced to. Some people have experienced a lot at that point. Um, but now in this, this, this four year journey I've had here, uh, it's crazy the things I've, I've experienced and, and I'm grateful for a lot of them. I'm grateful for the trials, I'm grateful for the difficult times. Um, I think that's just made me into the man I am today um, and the man I hope to, to become later on in life, and hopefully I just keep growing. All right, big fella, great stuff. Good luck this week with Bucknell and Lehigh. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, Bryce Doolin joining us here on the Navy Sports Magazine.